Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Raspberry Pi's camera to detect motion. And how it detects motion I'll get into once we download the code. The code that I'm going to download is written by someone who calls themselves Brian Flakes. And uh, you know he's a community member who put this together just like how I'm a community member putting this video together. He wrote it in, Ras uh, in Python 2.7 and we are using Python 3 here, so we're gonna to have to do a conversion, but let's first download it and get it up and running in 2.7, and then we'll convert it uh, to 3 in another video. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, update, like so, sudo apt get update. If you haven't, update. So if you haven't uh, done this already, go ahead and do that, because the next thing you're gonna to have to do is using sudo apt get install, you're gonna to have to install a package called Python imaging dash tk. This will take a moment to install. After that's installed, I'm just going to clear the screen a little bit here for some extra space. Uh, you're going to have to actually download the script, and the way that you're going to download it is typing in wget, and then you're going to copy it or clone it, and what are you going to clone? You're going to clone http colon slash slash paste bin dot com slash raw dot php question mark i equals y h seven j h z nine lowercase w and then using a capital o you're going to save it as pycam dot pi so what this is going to do is wget sends out did that work Yes, it worked. Okay, so that sends out a request to visit this website, or visit this link here, and uh, save a file as pycam.py. <clears throat> so now if we take a look, we can see that, yes, we, we have this thing, original script by Brian Flakes, approved by all these wonderful people here who are helping out the community. Um, so the way this works, I'll explain in just a moment let's get it running first. So we're gonna make a directory here in our root folder called PyCam. So now we have PyCam here. And we are going to run it by typing python pycam.py. And so it's running now. And I'm gonna wave my hand in front of the camera. And there we go, you see it's taking pictures now and you go, okay, that's pretty cool. Move my hand back and it should stop taking pictures. You gotta watch out, sometimes when you point these cameras at uh, fluorescent lights, there you go, see it stopped. Uh, fluorescent lights with a flicker can actually set this off. So anyways, canceling the program there, if we go and check out on our Pi, our uh, root folder, not root, but our, our Pi user folder, and we go to PyCam, we do see some pictures here, and you can see from the thumbnails, my hand is in the picture, let's just blow one of these up we see that we have a picture here that it captured when I stuck my hand in front of the camera. Now that, that's that's great and all that, but the problem is, is, you know, this is a standalone program and we want to incorporate this into our project because we're not just taking pictures, we're time stamping them, we're turning on lights, we're, we're sending data and all that, and we're going to use PyCam as a module. Uh, so we're going to import it and we're going to have to modify it a bit. Uh, just proof that it won't work using Python 3, so before the command was Python PyCam, if I type in Python 3 here and run that, we get some errors. Here it's a trivial print statement error, but there are some other things that we need to fix, and in the next video, I will show you uh, where to make the changes, and since I'm going to be going through the code anyways, I'll explain it to you how it all works. So I'll see you in the next video where we convert this package to something that Python 3 can use and that our main function that we will be developing uh, can use. See you then.